Hi, this is a short demonstration of how to implement the OTRS converter OPM file into OTRS and how to use it. There was a customer that had uh, problems logging in and I'll uh, try our life. So maybe I'm going to hit a bug, but I don't think so. So um, we are looking at a OTRS instance. Actually, it's a 2.4.11 version. Um, so I'm going to click on package manager here. Then this OTRS or the Zendesk exporter is already implemented. I'll uninstall this one. So this is only necessary if you have an old version of the uh, importer installed. And then I have downloaded the new OTRS uh, converter version. Let's go back to the package manager. We are here. Okay. Let me know. Let's do that differently. So we will choose the package file from my downloads. Here it is. So then I we hit install. And that's basically it, if that works. So then you have this link here, Zendes Exporter. And if you click it, it'll start. If you go to the package manager, you can see the package installed. So it's 1.0.4. And in this specific version, no attachments will be uploaded, but this is temporary. Okay, so let's start here. Um, oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, this is where it starts. I'm sorry. So we're going to start in test mode, no problem. Next steps. The, uh, this has been explained in length. Uh, that's why I'm just skipping that. And then this is the page where you put in your uh, legitimation data. So I have a sandbox here. Okay. And the first thing you want to do is, no, not sign up. You want to log in. And my email address is msiebert at siebertmedia.net. And my password is I don't tell you. And then I hit login. <coughs> and ta da! No, we don't need to save that, but I'm logged in. So please do that first um, to make sure that your login credentials are correct. If you can't log in to your sandbox, the OTRS converter will naturally not be able to do that either. So let's go back into, well, let's copy this first here. And then actually it's SSL encrypted. Is it? Yes. And then my email address is msiebert at siebertmedia.net, my password. And then check and save settings. And then it should say Zendes access is OK. And let's, can I go back one step? No, I don't say that. So let's, let's provide a password that's wrong. And then, <coughs> Actually, it says, can't access, please check your login credentials. And basically, that's everything I wanted to show. So this is how you can import or install the, the plugin. And please make sure that you um, use SSL only if you have an HTTP asset uh, in front. And uh, please make sure that you can log in into your sandbox. And if you look at both of these things, the plugin should be easily able to log in just as I present it. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.